hey 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 and welcome to my channel my name is Paula and today I thought we could do a bit airport shopping <laughs> um, I'm currently in Copenhagen in my hotel room that's why the lighting is a bit weird I would say it's quite yellowish and hmm, sorry about that um, it's quite early in the morning I've just been 10 days on two different work, work trips first in Portugal and now I'm in um, Denmark and finally I'm going home. Um, I did check uh, from uh, online. I've also been to Copenhagen Airport before, but I remember that there might have been some luxury stores there or small shops. And I thought we could visit them and see how it looks like in uh, Copenhagen Airport when it comes to luxury. So as far as I remember, there is Hermes and Bottega Veneta and yeah, a few others. So hope you enjoy following me around and uh yeah i guess the mystery still is how much i'm able to film but i will definitely do my best so of course the first thing that pops up is the tax free and it was quite substantial uh here at the copenhagen airport so for for those shopping needs there was a lot of choices all right, and now we, we got to the other side. So first here is Marc Jacobs. As you can see, quite a small, cute boutique. George Jensen is, I think, a Danish uh, designer, uh, which I truly love. We have some at home from, from their home section as well. And uh, as you can see, we're now heading to Hermes. And the size of the Hermes boutique was actually quite big compared to the other luxury stores, as you will see as moving on with that video. There were a few bags behind the glass, um, but obviously not no bags to like touch or anything like that. They did have the pillows and blankets. Here is the dark blue one. There was also the orange uh, uh, that will soon come to the footage. And, uh, and then the blanket was also in this beige. And I don't know, is this the most popular shade or is this a bit darker? I'm not that familiar. But anyway, they had these just uh, in display. I didn't ask if they had any more or so, but that was a positive surprise as I am a bit like dreaming of one day owning at least a pillow for our home decor. Uh, here you can see some of the silk scarves. They had some kind of selection over here. And then moving to the other side are the shoes and uh, men's clothing. I did not see any women's clothing in this store. Didn't ask <laughs> either. Um, but some shoes and uh, clothes were on, on this side of the, the store. And then next we are going to look at the costume jewelry, which is going to be behind this glass. Once again, I didn't ask for help or assistance, so I don't know if they had more, but uh, I feel like this store had quite a lot of all the varieties. So home section, shoes, scarves, bit of clothes, and then costume jewelry. So quite, quite a good one, I would say. Next we are heading into Bottega Veneta which was right, right next to the Hermes store and as you can see it's a tad smaller but they had a lot of bags such as the teen size Jody but many bags on, on display and if you have watched uh, one of my previous videos about the Jody obsession I'm, I'm currently having here is the mini Jody and next to it is the teen Jody size and this was a good place for me to actually compare the different sizes because uh, I kind of need to make a decision of what which size is actually the best one for me. All right next up is Loewe and as you can see I was pretty much the only customer in all of these stores and the first thing that caught my eye were the scented candles over here. I was not aware that Loewe even made them but lovely lovely scents I managed to kind of <laughs> sniff all of them. Here are some puzzle bags as well and some like SLGs. Uh, I did feel on the leather as I am a bit intrigued with Loewe bags and it was just beautiful, very, very beautiful. 
And uh, yeah, next up, Saint Laurent, where I was pretty much the only customer again. Uh, they had some bags in display here on the shelves, and then some bags were kind of inside the glass. I did not try any bags here. I was just looking as I'm kind of um, have mixed feelings towards Saint Laurent right now after my Lou camera bag episode, which I have. Uh, have a few uh, stories regarding that. I will link those videos down below. And uh, yeah, I also thought to go into Gucci, but this was actually the store that they asked me not to film. So that was the footage you got from there. But I, I'm not really that sad about it because uh, Gucci is not really my cup of tea in a way. So I would have just filmed something for you guys. Hi from a different scenery. So obviously I didn't manage to film a outro for my video from the airport. So this is just me sitting at home and I thought I would kind of finish up what I started. So as you saw there, like every luxury brand was not present at the airport, but there were a few nice ones. Um, I was quite surprised that at Hermes there actually were the blankets and pillows available and I think the beige one was actually the one that is quite popular. I'm, I might be mistaken but um, I think it was really really easy to to kind of look around and um, yeah Gucci was the only place that told me not to film so obviously there wasn't that much from from the brand but to be honest, um, Gucci is not my favorite, so I would have anyway just filmed something for you guys, not for my my own amusement. Um, all in all, I mean, if you are in Copenhagen and love luxury, might be worth to uh, have some time to go to the airport and look at the stores. Um, and uh, I actually did end up buying a little something something. <laughs> from there and I might as well just show it to you guys as well. So I bought something from Loewe and to make it a bit like easier I've already taken it out from the, the bag. So I purchased a candle and if it's visible the scent is oregano. Uh, there were quite many. I actually wasn't even certain that, or I didn't know that Loewe had also scented candles, but I'm a sucker for them. So um, I got this one and let's see if I'm able to open this for you so you can see what the candle looks like. All right, so lifting this and uh, this is the candle and it has the lovely Loewe logo there as well and then it has the Loewe also on the glass but otherwise it's just a very plain one and uh, the scent is really beautiful uh, they had many lovely scents and the colors of the glass then varied depending on the scent but I mean I'm a sucker for white surprise surprise plus I love the freshness of this oregano scent so yeah i'm really happy with that but that was basically the only thing i purchased from the airport um although i also did get some tea but that might not be super interesting <laughs> to you guys that was it for today so thank you for watching and see you in my next video bye